Hello Sagittarius, welcome to your reading. So today's reading I'm going to be using the new deck of cards I had, which I had yesterday, which are Soul Truth cards. So I'm going to be using these to see what you need to know. <clears throat> well. Do I surround myself with people who lift me up? The people with whom we surround ourselves determine who we become. Does your tribe fill you up? Do they inspire you? Do they believe in you? Do they help you step into your greatest potential? Make a desired list of the type of people with whom you wish to surround yourself with and clarify if there is anyone in your life who no longer serves you. Can you love them from a distance? What excuses am I making right now? No more waiting. There will never be a good enough time. The time is now. If it is important enough to you, you will find a way today. Make a decision and do it even if you don't feel ready. Listen to your heart and you will be led. Am I afraid to be seen? The world doesn't want you to hold back any longer. Time to shine your unique light on the world you are made from love. And from love you are home. There is no more hiding. There is no more shame. There is only truth. Live naked and free. What parts of me do I hide? And can I be socially accepted and fit in? Am I being authentic? Do I allow myself to be all of me? What do I need to feel so I can be safe to be seen? Journal your answers. Who oh, am I ready to forgive? I am not what happened to me. I am who I choose to become. Is it time to let go, forgive and move onward? Is your soul ready to forgive someone else or yourself? Forgiveness brings sweet release, freedom and insight. Look at it from their shoes. Notice how you grew and what you have learned. Who do you want to become and how is the resistance holding you from what your soul wants? Write your forgiveness letter, then practice the Ho'opono Pray today while thinking of the person you are ready to forgive. I love you. I am sorry. Please forgive me. How can I be more flexible right now? What are you trying to control? Maybe it's time to let go. Let love move through you today and trust the outcome. It will be for your highest good. Remind yourself all day long that you are safe, that life is happening for you and that you are not alone. Do some yoga. How does my body want to move today? When we move, we change our state and raise our vibration. This new elevated state becomes a channel for more energy. Are you moving your body daily? Are you passionate about it? Is it time to try something new? How does your body want to move today? Listen and joyfully do. What do I resist feeling right now? We have to feel it to heal it. In order to let go of pain, we first have to honour its existence. Emotions are like waves. Some are soft, some are fierce, some are layered, some will sweep you off your feet. When we allow ourselves to feel it all, we can then release what no longer serves us. Allow yourself to feel this wave, let it move through you, no matter how long it lasts. 
then release it back into the ocean. Feel it, heal it. Enjoy the sweet freedom within your soul. What am I looking for outside myself that is already within me? Are you looking for more guidance, confidence, peace, wisdom, love or something else? When we search outside ourselves, we can become overwhelmed, frustrated and never feel quite good enough. It is time to go inwards to find everything you seek. All the answers you need lie within you. Breathe in your favourite essential oil. Inhale deeply into your belly. Drop your shoulders and spend time hanging out with your soul today. Ask for what you need and be ready for the answers. When was the last time I couldn't stop laughing or smiling? Go back to a moment when you laughed so hard you almost peed your pants. Or you did. Feel the laughter grow in your body, your cheeks hurting, your eyes watering. Maybe there was even a snort or two. Laughter is healing. It reminds us of taking life less seriously and find the joy in the littlest things. Note to yourself, laugh more often. Make somebody laugh today. What boundaries need to be created or strengthened within my relationships. To create more healthy boundaries, we must first get in tune with our own needs, desires and feelings and believe that we are worthy of them. In your relationships, it's essential to know where they end and where you begin. When we separate our energy from others, we gain clarity about what we really want. Then we stop doing things that no longer align with ourselves. If you are an empath, you can still be compassionate towards others without taking on their stuff. It is safe to trust that you are not here to fix anyone. I have everything I need within me now and so do they. I am worthy of my needs and I set boundaries based on what's best for me. Am I clear on what my soul really wants? Take up the shoulds and the limitations, get out of your head and pay attention to your heart's desires instead. If you knew it was impossible to fail, what would you do? Wherever you go, go with all your heart. Ask yourself, what is it that your soul really wants? What does your heart crave? Then take one step in that direction. Am I on the right path? Sometimes we second guess what we are doing. We lose trust in the process and question if we are even on the right path at all. Know this, you are on the right path. Keep going, keep believing, keep remembering that you made a soul contract that you are currently fulfilling in every area of your life. Even if you can't see it, that doesn't mean it's not real. Today, search for all the ways you are aligned with your soul's purpose. The signs will appear. Let this newfound trust fuel your next steps. Your last card then is, am I focused on what I want most? One reason so few of us achieve what we truly want is that we never direct our focus. We never concentrate our power. Most people dabble their way through life, never deciding to master anything in particular. What you focus on grows today. Ask yourself, is my life a reflection of my values or do I need to make adjustments? Prioritise. Okay, Sagittarius, so that is your reading. If you enjoyed it, please like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell and I see you all again next time. Bye bye.